the Bedford Times Independent in Bedford, Iowa, on August 11th, 1887, (laughs) reported that a man named Lee Corder encountered a flying serpent, and then this is a quote, writhing and twisting with protruding eyes and forked tongue. Great scales, which glistened in the sunlight, covered its huge body, which appeared to be flat and nearly a foot in width. Sounds more like a worm to me. (laughs) So hot. (laughs) The beast seemed to fly and land with a thud in Mr. Corder's (laughs) cornfield. They watched with... (laughs) They watched with awe and astonishment as eventually the dragon returned to the sky. (laughs) (laughs) I get the impression that newspapers in the 1800s were all just kind of tabloids and rags. Yeah, they'd they'd print anything. Oh, you saw a dragon? Yeah. Yes, you did. (laughs) 